uh, is segregated from other prisoners, including during any period of risk assessment. Uh, secondly, there is no automatic right for a trans woman convicted of a crime to serve their sentence in a female prison, even if they have a gender recognition certificate. Every case is subject to rigorous individual risk assessment, and as part of that, the safety of other prisoners is paramount. Uh, finally, in general terms, and perhaps most importantly, I heard the Chief Executive of Rape Crisis Scotland say this yesterday, I don't see how it's possible to have a rapist within a female prison. And so let me be very clear. I agree with that statement. And bearing in mind what I've just said about the importance of indiv individualised risk assessment as a general principle and presumption, I think that statement is correct. Uh, turning now to uh, specifics, in the case that has been in the media in recent days, uh, that risk assessment is underway. As in all cases, the Scottish Prison Service uh, won't wait until an assessment is completed if they think action is required more quickly. Now, it would not be appropriate for me, in respect of any prisoner, to give details of where they are being incarcerated. But given the understandable public and parliamentary concern in this case, I can confirm to Parliament that this prisoner will not be incarcerated at Cortonvale Women's Prison.